The fun of summer is almost here, and many of us are already spending a lot more time in the sun. Try to plan your activities earlier in the day or later in the evening when the sun's UV rays aren't the strongest. Regents Wellness Consultant Allie Henderson says seek shelter between 10 a.m. and 4 p.m. when the sun is the strongest. If you are outside, even if it's cloudy, make sure that you're wearing a broad spectrum sunscreen with an SPF of at least 30. Reapplying that sunscreen every two hours or more frequently if in the water and check its expiration. I know a lot of us are just reusing some from previous years and while they still may be good, you'll just want to make sure that it's still safe and effective to use. Keeping you from uncomfortable burns, but more importantly, skin cancer. On average, the risk for melanoma doubles when a person has had at least five or more sunburns. Here in Utah, our skin cancer rates are more than twice the national average, but there are some things you can do to cut down your risk, like wear sunscreen, clothing that can help keep you covered, and grab that hat. Ideally, you're choosing one with a wide brim that will cover your face, ears, and the back of your neck. Protecting yourself this summer from the sun and also dehydration. When temps are high, it's easy to become dehydrated, especially if you're being active. So keep cool, refreshing water close by. We're advised to drink half our body weight in ounces each day. If you weigh 180 pounds, you'll want to get 90 ounces of water or about 12 to 15 glasses. Alcohol and caffeinated beverages can actually contribute to dehydration. Early signs to watch out for include dry mouth, muscle cramps, fatigue, lightheadedness, or even a decline in cognition. Experts say you should sip water, a sports drink, or fruit juice at those first signs, and if symptoms become more severe, go to the emergency room. And that was Fox 13's Amy Nay reporting for us this morning. Now, for more on this story, or if you have other health-related questions that you'd like answered, send an email to healthiertogether at fox13now.com.